Welcome back to Home Wizards, where we'd love to improve your home and improve your life. I'm Cindy Dole. I'm Eric Stroller. A, 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 wait, uh, a proud father I know you of are. three bored kids in the summer. Oh, they're not that bored. Well, you know what? They all claim to be. And, well, and, and, and it's always it always falls on mom and dad because they're just glaring they're glaring at you and it's 105,000 degrees out and you know it's either have the TV on all day and make them nuts by 5 o'clock if the TV's on they're literally like crazy people now my mom and dad would not let me say that I'm bored I mean I would I would say them but they would almost be insulted and it got to the point where They'd say, you know, entertain yourself, go outside, make some friends, do this or that. But they also were engaging, and and they were very, you know, hands-on participation, like you as a dad. Yes. And I remember, you know, I'd have my friends over, and they would always say, you know, your mom and dad are the best, because they talk to kids as, you know, like we're on the same level. That's true. And that really worked, and we would do these games that I'll never forget, like carrying lima beans on a knife, you know, and having a relay race or things like that. But you've got some ideas to help kids of today not feel bored that's exactly right so so the first and foremost thing I think to your point is get off the media every mm-hmm. now and then I mean it, it just gets to the point where I'll be sitting at dinner and I'll see like in these restaurants and I'll see these other families and you know juniors on the iPad their head and, is like down and their like heads, this. everybody's head is down and you're all sitting together but there's really no interaction and communication so after a while that just becomes like you might as well not even be in the same town you know what I mean? It's kind of sad. I mean, it's it like really you're, you're not really, um, you're not connecting. It's a total disconnect, isn't it? It's a total it? disconnect. It's rude. It's a, it's a disconnect, but also, you know, it, it, what happens are mom and dad get, get tired, right? So say you want to break as parents and you don't have the energy to do all these projects and be like the Pied Piper. There are occasional times when you may need to turn the TV on for an hour just to get a break. Well, it's like when we were growing up. I mean, TV was, remember the phrase, the latchkey right. kid? I mean, yeah. the TV was the babysitter when you came home from school. Yep. And so now I think, you know, moms and dads who are tired and working the the computer or the iPad or whatever becomes the babysitter. That's right. And, and so there's a happy medium somewhere in between there's there's a happy medium and so a couple of things that i really like you know it's fi- like, to your point find something to do on your own and if you can't start on your own then mom and dad are going to give you some great ideas so here's something that i think you would really enjoy and this is a great thing that is inexpensive but so cool to build it's almost like a tinker toy coming together as you assemble it and it's 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 the deluxe kid wash all right? really so imagine if you will Half inch or three quarter inch PVC. This this whole thing will take you about thirty five bucks and maybe an hour to assemble. So what you need, PVC lengths. They come in ten foot at the big box stores. You can either get the half inch or the three quarter inch. Then you have the elbows. You know the right angle mm-hmm. elbows. And then you're going to get some extenders if you need them. Things to you know. You'll see when you're there. When you go to the store, you'll see they've got all these different parts. And in your mind, you can imagine. Okay, I want to build this frame. Essentially, it looks like a square, like a jungle like gym. Like a jungle gym, basically, mm-hmm. right? And so you're giving yourself all these different. Uh, levels and layers to this thing so it's a box that's about maybe six feet wide by three feet deep with a doorway in it and then you're going to actually ultimately attach a hose to, oh no! to this thing drill holes in it so water comes through the hose through the pvc pipe and then sprays out and the kids can run through it and it's like the most fun thing you could ever imagine so it's an instant like a car wash it's an instant car wash it's almost like a maze and you run in and out of it fun. and i'll tell you you know people of all ages love it i love it i i run through the thing and i'm <laughs> oh my god oh my god i'm running through now oh isn't this great i can get at least 40 minutes of, of entertainment isn't from that this cute thing. so when you're making pvc things here's what you need you need pvc glue which comes in a can it's got a little ball on the end and it's blue isn't it's it blue it's bright blue. why is it blue it's just because then you know if you've made the seal or not when you're working and you you mm. know that you've glued it kind of gives you the the signal that i've already adhered this piece mm-hmm. right so and what do you it, have to test it with soap to see if it's bubbling and that well thing you can but for this it's not going to be critical that you have absolute watertight because you want people to get wet anyway exactly exactly and so do you get pvc in the plumbing department or you where? get in the plumbing department yeah or the sprinkler department okay. right and and again it comes in 10 foot lengths and, and thir- 34 dollars is going to get you a huge amount of pvc so what you're going to need are probably about eight to ten elbows you're going to need uh, i'd say four 10 foot lengths and an attachment that will screw onto one of the PVC pipes that is a thread so you can screw a hose onto it. Mm-hmm. 
And then that's basically it. And then a, a drill to drill through the PVC so that you have you know little areas where the water does come out of those pipes. Now, do you drill the holes before you connect them? Feels you, like you would. You can. It'd probably be easier for those of you who haven't used a, a drill that often. Yeah. Because uh, it'd be could, slippery, wouldn't it, it? It's a little bit slippery, yeah. but it'd be like, to your point, if you put it down on the ground and you held it with your foot or your hand, you could drill through it very easily. And, <laughs> and it's really no problem. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's what it'll sound like. So again, this is a great option. I, I, I highly recommend it. Now, if you want to do something that's not quite as extensive, mm-hmm. you can always just go for the old sprinkler. You know, you yeah. put the, you put the sprinkler out on better. the water. Oh, I mean, this is so. And cool. and could you Didn't put me? something? I mean, I wonder if you could combine the slip and slide with this. Oh, you are taking it to another level. And I was just going to say, you can. Why not? Why not? So you're out in the grass, but why not create this thing where you're running through it, but then just beyond it, you've got the slip inside, so it becomes almost like an obstacle course. You could actually make stations yeah. where you'd have three of these things on a run of like 25, 30 feet, right? And then the, they would all interconnect. One air, The first one, the hose would go into, but then PVC would run to the next one and then the next one. So it'd be like this entire cave of this PVC. And then you wouldn't have to buy the slip and slide. You could just get some, some visqueen or, or thick plastic, uh-huh. cut it into about a five foot wide strip, put it down on the lawn, and you're good to go. That's I hate it. to tell you something, but yeah. now with your uh, pond in the backyard... They'll slip right out of the They're plastic go into right the pond. right into the pond. <laughs> Bruising a koi on oh, no. the skull. I'll have to get koi helmets. Yeah. You know. Oh, no. But what a great idea. Isn't that fun? That sounds like something fun for adults as well as it kids. It really is. And, and and for mom or dad, this is a fun thing to build because it's a, it's, it's a, the skill level from one to ten, I'd say, is about a four or a three. It's really simple. And you really can do it simple. maybe in an hour or two? Or? You could do it in two hours. Easy. The whole thing with the trip and everything is going to cost you 34 bucks, like I said, and maybe three hours of time. But man, it'll last How forever fun. if you wanted to. You know. And then what do you call it again? You call it a... Uh, I, I like deluxe, to, well, I like to, well, there's people several washer. names. You can call it people washer. You can call it the deluxe kid wash. Okay. You know, for endless summer fun. <laughs> okay. So Have there's, fun. so there's that. Now, okay. some other things you can think about. Um, for example, playing, the idea of playing outside in the rain. Do you like that? You ever, sure. you remember doing that? Sure. Now, when I was a kid, when it would rain, we would run out to the back park in our area and we would go to the baseball diamond and it would be so muddy that you could literally run down the first baseline and dive into the mud and just slide for about 20 feet. So you can create that same mud hole if you've got an area in your yard, for example, maybe where the grass isn't growing so well under a tree and create a mud corridor. And there's nothing more fun than to play in the mud. Like when I was making the pond, my kids got in the the hole that I dug and they filled it up with water and just sat in mud Ew. and were like pigs. Really? Right? But then the fun part is you spray them off or, or you spray each other off. Even Willow liked that? She loved it. See, I would feel like it's kind of icky and squishy. She loved the mud. It was just great. Okay. Also, camping. Kids love camping. I love camping. You know, during... As long as there's a hair dryer. I mean, that, I'm just exactly. kidding. <laughs> no, that's nowadays. You but know I, what? I, I, I actually <laughs> took my girlfriend in college in Colorado up camping we went up about you know 10 or eleven thousand feet in, on a hike with a bunch of friends she hated it i agreed we left we went back down checked into a hotel, to a hotel. that was the camp, <laughs> was a camping trip <laughs> but that would be fun to have you know reenact the camping experience yeah. and ghost stories ghost stories and you can either ha- if you if you don't have a, a tent, tent you can make one with just sheets or blankets you know mm-hmm. on top of a picnic table have it go to the and lawn flashlights chair. holding Flash- oh, well yeah. it's kind of like what you call it that movie hello i just blanked out on the name halloween of the- no, 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 the movie. Um, oh, I See Dead People? I, yeah. No. Is that the one you mean? No. No, the Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch, yes. thank, thank you. It's that kind of a thing where you're holding the, the, the uh, flashlights right to your you know, beneath right. your chin. Yes. Fun. Isn't that great? And you can have s'mores and do all that in the Could, back. Couldn't be better. Love it. Love s'mores. Love the fires in the summer. Be careful with the fires in the summer, obviously, if you're around flammable trees like I have in my yard with the big pine trees that mm-hmm. could burst into flames at any moment. you got to make sure you don't get too high on the fire. S'mores, like you were talking about, great. Camping out. You can also camp in. You could do the sleeping fort in the living room, and you could make a blanket go from one end of the living room Over all the way. Over card tables, Every right? single possible thing you could imagine. Fun. That's a great idea. Love doing that. Stargazing. There's some great apps right now for the iPad or your iPhone where you can actually hold your iPad up, and it has the uh, constellation right there, 
and it'll tell it tells you where to position I mean, it in the sky. To- there's Taurus. There it is. There it is. It's, it's really cool. Have you seen this thing? I haven't. I've yeah, got to check it out. It's amazing. So I love the idea stargazing. of stargazing, watching mm-hmm. shooting stars come and fall, if you will, counting how many you can can see happen. The thing is that makes me sad about stargazing is that because there's so much light now mm. here in the United States, I mean, you know, we're so lit up at night that it really kind of detracts from being able to see all the stars. It really does. So, I mean, you know, we, the, the Stromers go to Michigan in the summer. We, we go there for a couple of weeks. More stars. Way more stars because there's way less light. So that's, that's when I end up getting my stargazing in. But you're, to your point, yes, in the center of the city, it's very difficult to see anything. So, yeah. But you could still use that app to see where they could potentially be in the mm-hmm. sky. And you get a, a, a rough idea of some stars. You see them. Yeah. Also, how about something like, kids, it's time to rearrange your room. I always, I, I always used to love this. I loved rearranging my room. My parents would say to me, go to town, do your thing, change it, make it exactly how you want it. I'm not going to monitor your room. This is your time. Give something to do. Make make sure you change it exactly the way you want it. And then the the critical and key thing is that you don't come in and judge it and say it's got to be clean or you got to do it this way or that way. It's Positive. Their, it's their space for mm-hmm. the summer. They can have it the way they want. Or maybe that's it's their space to have it that way forever. forever. Yeah, exactly. But, but this is their activity for the summer to uh, to change it up. You know, there's no question. And maybe give them an assignment like, hey, you know, create the room as how you hope that you will be in the future. Exactly. Or something like that. I really feel What's like the sooner you give your kids a chance to honor and create their own space, the better. Mm-hmm. It gives them a sense of self, who they are. They put things that, that they love on their own walls. They probably, Mom and dad, stay out. You know, let them do their thing. They probably do better in school, and they probably sleep better and all that. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, I know you've got some more fun I ideas. i got nothing but ideas, because, <laughs> you know, I, I'm in this right now. So I know. I'm, I've researched hey, it extensively. The kids are out of school, and if you're in the same boat like uh, Eric is, uh, hey, it's a long, la- long and lazy days of summer, so we're going to give you some more fun things, creative projects to, to bring the whole family together, That's to get it. away from the computer and uh, just have some good summer fun. You're listening to Home Wizards, Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, as we love to improve your home and improve your life. We're just getting started, you know. I got my first real six string, boy, at the five and dime. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. Cindy Dole here. Hey, Eric Stroman. And we love to do fun things to help the spaces that you call home just look better and feel better. And and it is summertime. And if you have kids, you probably have a lot of this. Uh, I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm bored. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, what do you say to that? Nye, 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 nye. You know, Make no, fun of them? No, I don't. I say, you Ignore know what? It? You know what? Here's Here's the deal. Boredom just simply means that you're not using your fancy imagination. So if you can't think of something, guess what I'm going to? Mm. And so then they go, huh? And it gets their attention. And then a good thing to do, it's time to do some chalk on the sidewalk. I love the t- I, I love, love the sidewalk chalk and show them the inspiration. Have you ever seen those incredible sidewalk artists that do this the amazing I have bar reliefs you know with with chalk that it just looks like a painting from the Renaissance. I haven't. I love to show the inspiration of what you can do and then say now here's some chalk go make some cool drawings and fill up every part of the sidewalk. If you don't fill every sidewalk in this house then I'm going to be mad. So where is your sidewalk? I got it in the backyard. I got all this cement. You know, it looks like a runway essentially back there. Somebody made this in the fifties. It's kind of actually horrible. It mm-hmm. looks like a you know crisscross runway of concrete. But if you want, but I've had most of that filled with with uh, chalk. Can drawings. you clean it though? If you're yeah, yeah, company? you hose it right off. Uh huh. No problem. I'm just water enough. Just, is... just put the wa- just put the hose on. It's gone. But it's so fun. It looks great. And then kids can get dirty and messy. And then it's un- it's it's that's unsupervised fun that they. Mm-hmm think that they're getting away with something but it's really you know very contained fun so i love getting the, the sidewalk chalk uh also if you've never seen a water ski show and you have one in, in your area or you can find one as a destination it is the greatest thing in the world a water ski a, show. yeah you sit at a water ski show somewhere in the country wherever you guys are find it get there you're gonna you, you won't regret it it's campy it's fun it's kind of a throwback to the 50s mm-hmm. you know they do the pyramids and the fun barefoot things and the daredevil stuff please see a water and ski they show. go up on those little what do you call they those go up on the jumps platforms. yeah the jumps uh-huh. they go on the you know slot I'm a, I'm a big water skier so i just love these things i've always uh, use that as one of my summer activities so do that uh museums this is a great time for the museum in the summertime 
-hmm. It's also air conditioned. It's a great day, even if you're just sort of mom and dad sitting in the lobby and say, have at it, we'll meet you back here in, you know, an hour and a half. You know, it, it's just great to, to be able to be in a cool environment. I like it better than the mall because the mall always leads to, I want this, I want that, let's buy toys. Mm -hmm. And even in the museums, you've got the stores where they kind of usher oh, you I out know. through the gift shop. So maybe before you get into the whole situation, sort of agree on a price point and say, you you, you each have 7 50 or 12 bucks to spend. That's it. So pick carefully. Spend your time that way. The zoo. I love the zoo at night, especially in the summertime. Great experience. Fun time to see all the animals. My kids, they go crazy for the zoo. So, so that's always a great thing to do. Um, what else can we do? Well, I'll tell you, you can make a drive-in in your own home. I've seen this, and it's very cute. Isn't it? A drive-in movie theater. Yes. And you make little beds out yep. of boxes. Yep. Have you seen this? You can even do it in your car with the projection on a sheet in front of your car in your, in your car. driveway. But, or in your home. Have you seen the kind in your home where you're making like little mini cars that are parked in front of the TV, oh, quote cute. unquote, and then a little teeny tiny table in between, and that's your little... That's really your cute. Your serving tray. I love Any that. of that's cute. Yeah, yeah. What I'll, about using something about like insects? Is there a cute activity in terms of getting people, getting your kids outside and exploring nature and appreciating the good insects? There could, it couldn't be better, you know, and I, and I like doing that with my daughter especially. I, I wanted her to not be afraid or intimidated by bugs. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it seems like girls always think that, ew, I don't, you know, I don't want to get into that, but it's important that girls understand it's, all, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Just reach your hands in the dirt. And these are all really cool, safe, fun things to, to examine and understand. My boys are into it. They're just like, oh, my God, there's a roly-poly. Look at this thing. Look at it. Oh my, hey, there's worms. You know, and my daughter slowly is getting into it. And I think what happened, she had a babysitter when she was younger that was really freaked out by insects. Oh. And it kind of tainted her and uh -huh. made her afraid. Now she's not so much. Good. But I don't like that idea of, like, you know, you got to demystify the insects mm -hmm. so it's okay mm -hmm. to deal with. What about getting the milkweed plant, too, the, the, that oh. we know is the friend? Friend of the monarch. Friend of the butterfly. Because, you know, then you have the milkweed. Wouldn't that be great to watch a butterfly show up? Well, we, and we, we watched it in our yard. Unfortunately, it didn't completely work. Um, oh. So that's the only sad thing, although you're learning that that's the reality of nature. But it cocooned. We got the we got the little caterpillar. It started to form its cocoon. I even sent you pictures. It was going to become... I remember that, yeah. It was going to release the butterfly, but something went wrong. I, I wonder what you know, it was. Sometimes, you know, it gets attacked by a spider mite or some other... It gets a disease and sure. it just doesn't complete the process. But still, that's a cool thing for kids, I think, to kind of journal it, you know, take photos of it. And no question. Monitor yeah. it. Yeah. You know what else is going on now for my... My daughter, who's five, soon mm -hmm. to be six, jump rope. She's really getting into the really? jump rope. Yeah. And so she's doing the double dutch, and we do all the songs, you know. The double dutch button. Busting it down the street. Down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and she, she can do the thing where you, you, know, you jump up, and then you squat down and jump up again. Really? And then do 360s, and she's really getting an incredibly good. And they say that jump rope helps with hand-eye Mm -hmm. The same principle as... Well, football as, players do a lot of that, they, right? They do. Or but do, 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 do. They that, do. that and also boxers, but, but right. the, the jump rope is used a lot for getting kids to learn how to read more effectively. Oh, really? Because crawling, believe it or not, actually is something that helps you read and understand the rhythm of right, left, and integrating the left and the right hemisphere of the brain, right? Hmm. So a lot of kids that are dyslexic never crawled. And so that's something that they do. They reintroduce crawling to kind of get the hand-eye coordination going. So jump rope is really effective for that. So you do a lot of crawling in the middle of the night to you, get a glass of water. You know I do. You're crawling. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a result of some of these fancy parties we throw. Yeah. Oh, great. No, no. So that's really fun. So you can do a jump rope with just one parent by tying the end off on, on a doorknob or a handle outside mm -hmm. and then just doing the, you know, oh, the, sure. the slow swing uh -huh. over and over and over again. And that's good, honey. Let's try getting up to 15. <laughs> you know, and then by the time uh, July shows, uh, end of July, you know, we're up to 30, 40, 50, you know. But Boy, I love she's, it. Great she's going to be in great shape. She's going to she have is. good cardio and yeah. uh, toned legs. Yeah, and the school mm. really encourages the jump roping. It seems like a huge, huge thing. Also, you know what else I love? What's that? Bubbles. Bu summertime is a great opportunity to create huge bubbles. 
and you can either get the the kits that come or you can make your own bubble mixture we want to make life size i mean like Man. head size bubbles oh you know what i mean how those guys do the big huge yeah. ones and then a bubble yeah. inside you know i i got so i was really good at this for my first kid you know he loved bubbles so i just ended up being really good at blowing the traditional bubbles out of that kit that you get with the little cylindrical you know the normal the bubble, bubble maker set, right. juice but they do the big ones with the round you yeah. know foot and diameter things in I mean, the tray those wands i mean can we oh. make can we make our own wand you can make that? them out of coat hangers yeah uh -huh. and they can be different shapes too it doesn't have to be circular they can, you can do triangular or square and you get amazing shapes great opportunity because then the bubbles fall onto the cement or that you spill and you just hose it off if you want to not a big problem whatsoever you Fine. know uh what else i'll tell you what else it's time to make an entire book over the summer oh geez encourage that you do <laughs> like your kids draw and create a comic strip you know and they chronicle their experience over the summer you know and a lot of the kids it would be like i'm bored you know and then it'll be the next page I'm, I'm still, still bored. bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> no, but to, but but you just had time to to bring out the inner artist in your kid and give them the opportunity to say, okay, sky's the limit. Draw your images every day. You're going to make a picture. We're going to bind it at the end of the summer. You're going to have this great comic book, and we'll all get to read it and share it together, right? Great. How about farmers markets? This is a great opportunity to kind of understand how and why we get good organic and local produce, and and the difference between store-bought stuff and farmer's market stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I, th I think it's really important to kind of give kids the understanding what the difference is, you know, mm -hmm. versus the, like, the Monsantos of the world where, you know, it's mass-grown versus these small for uh, organic farmer's markets that you really can taste the difference and in, in, in the vitamin content and mineral content are so much higher. And I think that's a really thing, a great thing to do. So try that. Take a drive out to a farmer's market. Well, how about this? Go to the farmer's market, but then say, guess what? We're going to grow it in our own backyard. Oh, you're speaking to me. In fact, coming up in the next hour, we're going to talk about creating an edible garden in a day. So how about that? That is a, That's great, a great idea. It's a great family activity. I mean, yeah, go to the, the farmer's markets. We want to support our local growers, right? Yep. But then have it in your own yard. Wouldn't that be nice? It'd be fun. I just recently got a gift of a pot of, grown, or of uh, uh, herbs grown in a pot. So Great. it's got rosemary and mint, and you know they're all in one pot. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice gift. It was already pre-done. Pre-done. Great. And why can't you just do that for for your own garden? You totally can. In and fact, you're going to tell us we're going to talk about how to do it. In fact, when you do that, I hope that are you putting those herbs now in an area where it's well drained? Because that's the the biggest mistake. You know, I'm I'm they're on the side of the sink, and I and I'm not watering them much. Okay, that's good. You've, you've taught me well. I'm really starting to pick this stuff up. Things are actually living and thriving. Good. Yeah. And your houseplants are looking happy, right? Boy, are they ever. Good. All right. Yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk more about all these good things like growing an edible garden in a day. I mean, I know that a lot of times you think, oh, I'd love to have an edible garden. I'd love to have, you know, homegrown peppers and tomatoes and cilantro, but then it's just I'm going to blow it and it's going to be complicated. But I thought, you know, if we can do it in a day. Then you're going to be... And, and you'll do it. And you'll build, you'll, you get that yeah. reinforcement. You go, I can do it. Yep. People like me. Yep. I can do this. And it teaches you how to be a, a, a guy or gal with a green thumb. And you then know, you're you going to eat. Small. You'll eat great things from your own yard. This is rosemary from our own yard. Can you believe it? I hate rosemary. No, no. Anyway, it's all coming up next. You're listening to Home Wizards. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, as we love to improve your home and improve your life. I'm a pretty big deal. 